Rudy, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us on this truly astonishing day. I, I kind of didn't think it was really going to happen. Just how, I mean, you know this system better than most. What do the Democrats think they're going to achieve by this? I don't know. Uh, the indictment is a seven-year-old incident that has already been passed on by several uh, anti-Trump prosecutors who decided there was no case to bring, and he resurrected it. Uh, I believe the case will be dismissed at some stage before the trial because it has no legal basis. And it's just another indication that uh, this has been f uh, seven or eight years of uh, persecution, basically, uh, largely because he challenges the status quo. I mean, he challenges the establishment that wants to move us to being a one world, George Soros dominated uh, socialist government, really a communist government. And this, uh, you can only describe this as a fascist uh, prosecution. Any politically inspired prosecution of the opposition that has no real basis is the, is the hallmark of a fascist state. And this is what happens in, a, in a, our neighbors. But you're saying this, Rudy. You're saying this, Rudy. You're saying this as a former mayor of that great city, as a leading Republican. And we're watching this from the other side of the pond. We're looking to a country that is the leader of the Western world. And you are telling me that we cannot trust the independence, the neutrality of the American judiciary. Do you realise, you know, those comments you've made, do you realise just how bad this looks for America? I do. And it's been this way for some time, Nigel. This is just the uh, most dramatic indication of it. I mean, it all uh, began some time ago uh, when they decided to fix the Hillary Clinton case. And uh, Comey decided to uh, to not prosecute her, even though she committed uh, unbelievably obvious federal crimes, including destroying 33,000 emails. The strangeness of all of this is Hillary actually committed the crime they are falsely accusing Trump of. She paid $1.1 million for a steel dossier, which is a campaign document. It was completely falsified. And it was uh, charging Trump with a crime that he had nothing to do with, which was collusion with the Russians. And it was used during her campaign. So that is a campaign contribution that was improperly described as uh, legal fees. This is what uh, Bragg is charging Trump with, except uh, Trump never entered these records. He had nothing to do with how, how they were described. There was a personal purpose to this payment, which was to spare himself and his family embarrassment from these charges. Whether they're true or false is irrelevant. As far as the morality of it, and I, I don't believe he did it, but this is far less significant than what Bill Clinton did. I mean, Bill, this, this was the allegation is consensual sex uh, between two consenting adults seven years ago. Bill Clinton had multiple sexual acts in the White House with a young girl who was working for him and then went ahead and committed a real crime called perjury. And it was thought, well, that was too personal to prosecute because he's But even if you believe that Trump did that, nothing in comparison to Clinton taking advantage of a young girl. Consensual sex than having someone who's your subordinate and then committing Hillary Clinton did far worse than this. And we have a president who, uh, where there is unbelievably yeah. 30 years of taking bribes. So we are in very, very bad condition, Nigel. And uh, there's no point in hiding it. The rest of the world knows it. Every time they see Biden going to uh, Cambodia and thinking he's in, in Colombia, they have to be saying to themselves, what's wrong with the American people? The man doesn't even know where he is.
Yeah, uh, Rudy, I have to say, it's, uh, this is a sad day in my view, uh, and it's been leading up to this, as you rightly say, for some time. This isn't just sad for America, it's sad for the Western world. And in Beijing, they must be laughing their socks off. Rudy Giuliani, thank you for joining us on this historic, but for many of us, sad day.